in my first experience, I definitely felt a lot of anticipation of what is to come. Would I be feeling hot? Would I be on fire? Would I be burnt? I thought that I would be extremely radioactive. Being human, it was definitely something that I thought of. A common myth, a lot of people are afraid that they will be radioactive after they have their radiotherapy treatment. It's a qualified no because the types of radiation machines that we use are called linear accelerators. As an analogy, they are like microwave machines. So once the machine stops, the radiation stops and the patients are not radioactive. I also thought that if I were to perhaps maybe go next to a pregnant woman, that I would be of danger to her or even to elderly or seniors. But these are just myths and definitely dramatic movies that we have watched. One of the misconceptions I have was it's going to be very painful. But when I actually went through it, yeah, you can just close your eyes and five to ten minutes later, it's over. Yeah, you don't feel any physical pain. One will not feel any radiation when the radiation has been delivered because it's an X-ray beam. And we know doing CT scans and X-rays, you do not feel the X-rays going through your body. It's painless and it's the same with radiation therapy. One of the common myths is that we will get burned, like probably fried chicken in the machine. Through my experience, it definitely is not the case. We do not get burned. For me, it was actually no sensation at all. Patients may have some reddening of the skin, but the doctor is able to see the patient and give you some medications for it. Most patients think that radiation has severe side effects, but what they read in the news is usually very different from the ordinary reality. It all depends on the area that we give the radiation and the parts of organs that we radiated because some organs are more sensitive. But the good thing is that over the last decade, there's a lot of advancements in limiting the toxicity of radiation. And now most of the radiation side effects is actually short-lasting and usually will not cause much significant impact in the quality of life for the patients. People believe that radiation may cause a second cancer in the future and there is a small theoretical risk, but it has to be balanced against the benefit of actually receiving radiation treatment to your cancer today. Because of the technology now, we are like sharpshooters able to aim precisely and accurately and minimize collateral damage to the surrounding areas. We can get a very good local control of the cancer and the side effects is actually minimum. I think the most important thing is to actually ask all the questions that you would like to to the medical doctor, perhaps maybe even take down some notes and bring your questions to the first session. The experience for me has been extremely positive and the people that I had met along the way really made a difference.